Good morning guys, it's Gary and Stacy, two groundhogs, and it's 7.38 this morning, and we just climbed up about a mile and a half, just come, come across this little saddle, but what a morning we had. Wow. And, uh, it, 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 we should be farther than we are now, but because we got slowed up, because right out the get-go, getting out of the camp, we saw a herd of elk yeah. on um, top of the hill. Stacy heard the sound, and I looked up, and I saw them, and we counted... Uh, you there was 37. 37? In that herd. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, and... Um, Only two two uh, bulls in that two, herd, Yeah, though. but they started going across. Big harem. I, I froze them a couple times. Uh, with this froze the bulls. When I, the, I did an elk call. Bugle. And a bugle and uh, froze them for a while. Yeah. And, gave, you know, my I wish I had a telephone lens, but... Um, it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. Didn't get the... It was dark. Just Probably to see them respond yeah. and stuff. It's exciting. To show you the pictures. And then... We went 100, 100 yards, and I look up and over this saddle that's back around the corner over here, um, there is um, there was another herd of arrow coming over, mm -hmm. and we sit there and we kind of snuck up on them. I got some closer up pictures of those, but I still I need a telephone lens. But yeah. very exciting. But now, just before we got to the top again, I spotted some bucks up on the top of the ridge and uh, big ones. big bucks. And I know my son would be go hog wild, but uh, there's six bucks um, right up in a little that little little notch up there. They're right in that little valley. Kind of laying down. Six now. bucks, and then I'll turn around the camera. Then I just saw way up on that ridge, right in that little dip right there, I saw two big old bucks running the skyline. I took some pictures we of them. We actually saw but, three herd of elk. Because remember the one that had like 12 babies in it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, very exciting for to see the animals this morning. That's why we like getting up and walking early, yeah. just in case you get a glimpse of them. Uh, but it'd be nice to get a telephone lens for next time. But, so good beautiful. morning. It's just so beautiful. It's cloudy right now. I feel like it's going to rain, but... I don't think it will. Um, I think we got to head down, down and around that mountain somewhere. And then... So, hopefully we're heading uh, out from under the cloud cover. Yeah, so... This is our view for the morning. Just getting a little bite to eat here. Give you a little shout out this morning. Mm -hmm. And um, having a snack. I'm trying to choke it down right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't hardly swallow these things. But um, <laughs> but anyway, that's a personal problem. <laughs> but anyway, great morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll talk to you. We'll see you down the trail. So uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, bye. wildflowers through here have just been amazing. We stopped back there a ways ago because there were so many honeybees feeding on the nectar. So beautiful. Check this out. Oh my gosh, honey, those are taller than you. That thing's, that thing's taller than I am. I love it. That is just too cool. Isn't pretty? Amazing. We've just been walking through. Yes. The trail just goes through this. Keeps coming, keeps coming. Beautiful.
got the mileage we went today because we the previous day uh, yesterday we set we went up that hill to set it up for today mm -hmm. so now we have about 9.9 .9 miles to Monarch Pass so we can get into town there's a slider to get our resupply and take a shower, shower. Woo! <laughs> sleep in a regular bed. Sleep in a bed. Oh, get some clean clothes. Actually, I got some new clothes, Go new to socks. Restaurant, get yeah. What we want to eat. But uh, this is, I think, was our longest day, and yeah. uh, we actually nice. climbed two passes today, and then we climbed this uh, up this steep, uh, this hill it was like 600 foot climb, and they said in the book it was going to be steep, and it was it steep. It was very steep, like very, very steep. Yeah. Steep. You, you just got, you know, you just lean, yeah. you got lean into it. And it was pretty uh, steep, yeah. steep grade. But um, we did it at, we didn't start till what, five? Five, yeah, five, five o'clock. Yeah. So we, we didn't bait if we should go or not. But mm -hmm. so we knocked off about five or 600 feet already for tomorrow that we don't have to climb. But we are going to go up to like 12, seven or 12, eight right. tomorrow. And so, we're only at 10 something right now. Yeah, so we do got to get, we do got to go still a little climb. But um, let me show you a picture here right now. As you see, we're camped at a lake called Boss Lake right now. And we're the uh, only ones here. We're the only ones at this lake, at the uh, lake. I'm surprised. So it's kind of cool. We got a lake view right out of our tent. Yep. And Actually, there haven't been that many people on the um, Collegiate, Collegiate West. West. Yeah, most people went on the other side of the mountain, uh -huh. the Collegiate, Collegiate East. East. A lot of people there. So, uh, yeah. and because the Collegiate West is more difficult, uh -huh. um, more exposed, more um, longer in the sections, and uh, but, but the, the trade-off is the beautiful one of my be Big, better expansive yes, views. Absolutely. Yeah. It's probably one of the uh, uh, top three or four hike areas I ever done in my entire mm -hmm. life. So mm -hmm. uh, I would like it would be nice it's to what do you it think too. Wild Colorado looks like. Oh, absolutely. Is the Collegiate West. And uh, yeah, and you know I've already mentioned in the early in the previous the seeing those animals, those elk and all those bucks on those uh those hills. That's I just exciting. look. I was just looking up at the ridge. Like, There's another buck up there, babe. And then here they come up and over. Yeah, and, and they were so. And my son, yeah. I know, I will really appreciate that. So I am going to yeah. throw a little uh, the, those uh, deer and those elk in on, on the uh, videos. But um, then we came down and off that hill, and we actually walked an old train spur. That was interesting. Uh, yeah. Used to be a train like line. Narrow gauge. Narrow gauge that went over from um, Gunnison. Over to Gunnison, it from went up, like Luther or yeah. something like that. I don't remember. The and name. you still had still had some of the old wooden slats still mm -hmm. embedded in the ground. So mm -hmm. great! It was a nice, easy grade down. It was about three and a half miles long. We did so we yes. actually cranked it up and got some good mileages. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then uh, we went over our second pass. Was we got up there pretty good, but right towards the end, the clouds were coming over, and there was mm -hmm. a hunking gray cloud and I looked up and think, oh boy Lord just protect us <laughs> but we went but we went and we got we, did. we popped over that saddle and uh long long about five and a half miles this is a downhill descent downhill. and my Through art a lot oh, of man. uh what's what yeah. the rocks talus talus type a rocks lot of talus cobblestone trails. you know so but we had some nice views of some flowers again today mm -hmm. a really good day really, really good day, really good day. Uh, but my our dogs are tired and our yes. feet are like going wow wow yes. wow but you know what it was um, a fun day. It was a fun day, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it, they worked out just like we liked it, and so I'm really happy for dinner that. Dinner always tastes better after a yeah. long hard day, oh, so yeah. that was good. Yeah, so got in the tent, got to get protected because there's some mosquitoes out there. So yeah. big we're all, surprise. We're all nestling in here, so um, uh, so tomorrow morning our plan is to get up for day 27 and. Like I say, get up mm -hmm. that big mountain and uh, get to the pass as soon as we can so we can catch, hitch, <coughs> hitchhike a ride into town. It's mm -hmm. probably about 22 miles. Uh, so uh, we'll have to figure that, you know, that may take a little while. If, if, if there's anybody on that pass, I've never been there. Yeah. So um, So we started, we're like a mile, mile and a half into CW5, section yes, 5. The last section on the Collegiate West. And we'll exit at Monarch Pass. Right, well, Monarch Pass. But then we got to come back then up to it. We got to come back and finish Section Five for five more miles. Five and, more miles, and so then we'll, we rejoin. Rejoin the original trail. The original trail where the east. And it's all part, it's all considered part. the Colorado Trail. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, yeah, we only met like one hiker today, or two um, hikers. One going northbound, and then that one that one young man right. going southbound. So mm -hmm. we, we haven't seen any. Uh, <coughs> um, Excuse me. A lot today. So, but anyway, um, saw a couple mines 
took a couple of, there's gonna be a couple mm-hmm. pictures of mine chef i know my dad likes that stuff right. and uh that was interesting a lot of we well just over here up on top of this little hill we found this hole and there's a sign that says danger don't even get close of it because like a right, right on the knob there's like a pit going straight down i know it's just like a shaft there but that must have been that pit we saw too would remember we said was that another mine entrance yes. and it was one of those yeah. pits yeah there's a lot of a mm-hmm. lot of old history around here yeah. so but anyway i want to try to uh, i know we're gonna get a little long on this but so we'll talk to you tomorrow all right Yay. bye, bye.